Thank you, Mr. Gorman, for inviting me. Okay. A wise man once said, our lives begin to end the day we become silent about things that matter. The 1960s were a troubling time for African Americans. You would see signs that read, Negroes only or whites only, on local establishments everywhere. Segregation was a norm, while equality took a back seat to discrimination. We sat at the back of the bus with the last hire and the first to be fired. This was no time to be quiet. Change mattered. So with the voice of indignation, we marched and boycotted for a right to be respected. It's been said that during sittings, you can feel the heat of cigarettes down your back. We hear the voices of people who weren't ready for a change saying, we don't serve y'all. But get out of here, coons. Nonetheless, you, just like us, can do a pain, racial slurs, and being arrested because they were so-called disturbing the peace or trespassing. They were courageous and persevered, even in times of adversity. Thanks to the demonstrations and public outcries of those youth, you today have the right to embrace the freedoms that our ancestors refused to be silent about. So that's why today we celebrate the words of Dr. King, who ignited the civil rights movement. He was present at sit-ins, boycotts, and marches, where he was spat on, water hosed, and jailed because of his protests against segregation and social injustices. We also celebrate his dream to end segregation and discrimination. Dr. King always kept the peace, even when he was persecuted. He made a point to use nonviolence in his protests. He even traveled to India in 1959, which deepened his stance on nonviolence, which credits to the teachings of Jesus Christ and God. So as I leave you today, I want to remind you Keep the peace, regardless of the violence around you. Dr. King himself stood outside the grounds of this very institution in 1965. 47 years later, in 2012, look at how far we've come. So as we celebrate this day, I hope all you have been encouraged to commemorate Dr. King's efforts in regard to all the sacrifices that he and other civil rights leaders made to gain us the unalienable rights to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. <coughs> my name is John McCoy, and this is my personal tribute to Dr. King. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, oh. Oh. 13. 13 years. 13 years. <laughs>